Hello and welcome to the Doctor's Kitchen live with me, Rupi. It is 7.07. .07. Wow, I'm a bit late. Um, in the morning. So today we're going to be doing a real quick uh, breakfast burrito. It's going to have tons of flavour in it. Um, it's not going to be like a full breakfast burrito. I don't have time to do all the different elements, slice up the red cabbage, coriander, all the rest of it. But it's still going to be foot packed of Mexican sort of flavours. I'm going to be adding a few nice little healthy twists to it. Got some um, spelt wraps. These, I used to get these in Australia. They're super thin and they're just really easy to, to use. So just using some um, thin wraps, but you can use any wraps that you like. Um, and you know, if you like uh, the wholemeal ones, if you like the ones with chia seeds, if you like the ones with flavor all through it, like, you know, the spinach, just go for it. That's great. Um, I've got some broccoli sprouts, which are one of my favorite ingredients. I've just quickly wash those. Some avocado, obviously, some garlic, some chili, and some spring onion. So I'm just gonna put this on a medium heat, and I'm actually in a little bit of rush, so I should get on with things. Um, I love doing these little um, uh, twists on a, on a breakfast. It just keeps things interesting in the morning. Oh, today I'm actually experimenting with a different sort of oil. This is um, extra virgin avocado oil. It's a uh, cold pressed sort of organic version, and there are some health claims about how it's um, it can st it's more stable at a high temperature. I'm not too sure about the evidence behind that, honestly. Uh, but it has got a really good omega three ratio to uh, omega three to omega six ratio, um, and uh, it's a monounsaturated fat. It's it's actually got a lovely sort of buttery taste to it in contrast to extra virgin olive oil, the high quality extra virgin olive oils that you can get that have a little bit of a um, sort of peppery aftertaste. Um, so I'm ex yeah, I'm experimenting with this. It's pretty good. Um, I do like to change up the fats that I use every now and then. So it's just, yeah, it's just a experimenting to see how the flavors work. All right, so I'm gonna move this over here. I'm just gonna use a couple of cloves of uh, garlic. Um, these two here. I always like to use garlic as a base of my cooking. It's the base of lots of different cuisines. Um, but it is, uh, you know, even in the morning, as long as you fry it off properly, you won't be stinking of garlic the rest of the day. Oh no, what we done? Still got the shell on, still got the shell on. Um, yeah, you won't be stinking of garlic the whole day. Your hands might. And if you don't want to use garlic, that's absolutely fine. You can just use, um, you can even use something like garlic salt or you can use um, celery salt as well to give the same sort of flavour. Um, yeah, just gonna quickly. I, I am actually literally in a rush. I've only got about 20 minutes before I can get out here. So this will be a good exercise in time management. Um, you can also make this like, you know, the night before and just warm it up on your stove if you didn't have the guts to try this before going to work. Uh, but the more you do it, the easier it will get, particularly in the mornings and stuff. So you want this on a medium heat, just to lightly fry off. And we're also going to go in with spring onion. You don't need to use spring onion, you can use a simple white onion. Um, you can uh, just use anything that's going to give that sort of uh, flavour. Shallot, a red onion. Actually, some, most of the time I use red onions for Mexican cooking. It gives just like another good flavour to it, uh, good colour, vibrancy. But spring onion is what I had in my fridge, so we're going to go with spring onion. And it's just going to do one stalk, you can do more than that if you like. We're going to use black beans instead of white or uh, refried beans because I like black beans, they take on flavour really well, they're a really good source of um, both protein and fibre. And even though it's, you know, a carbohydrate and everyone's scared of carbohydrates these days, I'm speaking to... Um, a bunch of GPs on Monday and there was a lot of talk about low carbon and I, I agree I think it's a really good dietary strategy for certain people who need to resensitize themselves to insulin after a, a long time of, of almost becoming dependent on um, uh, particularly refined carbohydrate sources and that's why the insulin levels are really out of whack so a low carb approach that some GPs are using is, is actually fantastic but it's not for everyone it's certainly not the first thing that I would advise for a lot of patients so oh someone's up oh morning oh great there's somebody up same time as me cooking so this will probably just take another minute I'm gonna put another dab of oil in 
needs to be all soaked up by the extra, the avocado. It's probably no more than a tablespoon that I'm using. Uh, and we've also got some red chilli as well. Um, if you are scared of the, the heat, then just remove the seeds. But I like a bit of heat in my cooking. I'm going to just take the segment out of one. I'll move that over here. I do need a paring knife. Can't use a chef's knife for everything. Okay, do that there. Okay, so I, I will throw in these red chilies after the black beans have gone in. I'm gonna add a little bit of pinch of salt, some pepper, and the other ingredient that I'm gonna use that makes it into a Mexican dish essentially is the chipotle. Now the chipotle, this is like the proper stuff that you get from Spain. It's called la tienda and uh, it's the hot smoked paprika. And they're not kidding when they say it's hot. It is really hot. I probably only use about a quarter teaspoon, maybe a half teaspoon if I'm feeling great. But that's all you need, honestly. You don't need that much. So don't put the paprika in this. Put it in with the, um, the black beans. So the black beans, I'm just going to drain off the water. And that's going to go straight in. Now I try and like cook from scratch where possible really whenever I'm using like you know beans and uh, dry legumes that kind of stuff but sometimes you know when you're in a rush you do need to use the convenience options um, from the can or from a, a, um, a, a glass jar. The trick is to look for the, uh, the ones that have only you know, water in or maybe a tiny bit of oil rather than um, the uh, the ones that have got added salt and sugar really so let's uh let's go in with this i can't open this <laughs> this is really hard to open come on okay here we go all right just a quarter teaspoon honestly like the first time i used this i probably put two teaspoons in it because i thought oh it's paprika it's smoked paprika oh, it says hot but you know the spaniards can't take the heat they can take the heat. It's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty hot spice. Okay, so that just goes in. I'm just going to move that around, and while that's bringing up itself up to um, a simmer, and we'll get rid of the excess water. It's already smelling lovely. Um, I'm just going to throw in the red chili as well. Gives a little bit of colour. You can add anything really that you want to this. You could add um, red cabbage. You could add um, some little bit of greens as well, like some um, some dark leaf green leafy vegetables. You add a little bit of um, uh, some some extra sort of. Uh, I'm just gonna get some corn. Obviously, corn would go really well on this if you had some time. Uh, okay, so for the the wrap, I'm, uh, this is probably too many beans for one morning. So it's actually going to go into my lunch Tupperware for later, so I'm only going to use half the beans. Now, to just to build up the burrito, like I said, you can use coriander, you can use um, uh, some simple spinach, but I'm just going to use one of my favourite ingredients, uh, which is the broccoli sprout, the humble broccoli sprout. It's one of my favourite ingredients of late. There's, a, there's another sort of scientist that talks a lot about broccoli sprouts, so I'm getting a uh, getting lots of messages already at 7 in the morning. Um, there's another uh, blogger, scientific, uh, science blogger, that um, basically talks about broccoli sprouts a lot in their videos and they talk about all the scientific research. And I came across it myself and I went through it. These are fantastic. They're a protein source. They're full of phytonutrients, really, really packed full of them. Um, they're called, it's a uh, broccoli sprouts are from the Brasca family. Obviously they have all the indoles and the isothiocyanates and the sulfurophane. Sulfurophane is a really, really interesting compound that we find in lots of different green vegetables. So you don't need to go chasing after broccoli sprouts specifically to have them, but I think they're super cheap. We make them here in the UK. Um, you just give them, a, make sure you give them a good wash because they can, they can like harbour sort of bacteria and stuff like that. But again, with any vegetable, that's the case. I'm just going to go in with a handful like this. I'm just going to do the base here. I'm going to put the rest of it in here. So adding greens again to the um, you know, black beans. These are uh, coming up to a boil nicely actually. Let's just fold these through. Okay, what am I doing for time? I'm probably about 
nine, eight, nine minutes in. Okay, so we're just gonna build up now. With the avocado, of course you're gonna to have to have avocado in a mixing meal, you have to. Again, monounsaturated fatty acids. It's a source of fat so you can absorb all these different greens that we have here. And well, I think as a population, we probably have too many avocados, but every now and then it's good. You know what, I don't think in my, in my cookbook, I've put a, a recipe with avocado in, which is quite unusual for a health blogger to, to not use avocado. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I just just didn't come onto the road. I'm, pro I'm sure I've got one recipe in there with like maybe a little bit of avocado inside, but um, I certainly didn't like, make any mousses out of it or anything like that. All right, that is pretty much done. So we'll just take that off the heat. And half of it is going to go in my Tupperware here. So I've got some messages. Uh, good morning. Haven't been able to watch you for a while. Oh, I haven't. I haven't actually done one for. I think I've done one for a couple of weeks now. I think I've been out of the country. I was in Guernsey the other week, and I've just been busy with the book stuff. So, so yeah, and no, I haven't actually been doing it for. A while, but I want to get back into it because um, I get a lot of good response from you guys. Like you know, just showing you how I do it before I go to work and stuff, and that's all I'm really doing. I just like I like to mix up my breakfast as well in the morning, so just uh, goes very well. Alright, that goes in there. Because I, I, I always clean up as I go along generally. So you'll see me like this needs to go in the fridge. Alright, this is the moment of truth really. Okay, let's put this in. Be nice if this was like, you know, a proper TV kitchen where I could just leave a mess and there's someone to clean up afterwards, but it's going to be me, so I'm going to do it as I go along. All right, uh, so for the beans, we're just going to put this on top here. So I've got the broccoli sprouts, a lovely source of fat from the avocado, and these chipotle, not chipotle, sorry. You can use chipotle if you didn't have paprika. I'm using those here. Now the rest of the beans, I'm going to put in for my lunch. So that goes in my Tupperware. And then with my lunch, I'm actually going to have another source of uh, wilted greens as well that I, I made. I think I made them yesterday. That goes in here. Just going to roll this up and hopefully not make it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it on my plate here. Actually, you know, I'm going to do it over here so I can cut it. <laughs> oh, I do have another knife. All right, so I'm going to try and make this Instagram worthy, but it is a uh, breakfast in a rush. And right, and that is my, oh, my, my beans are coming out. That is my breakfast burrito done in 13 minutes, about 13 minutes. That was it, that was my breakfast burrito right there. Not bad, hey? It's got your smoked paprika, sauce of chili, some vitamin C, but more for flavor, heightens everything else, brought down by the avocado, the creaminess, the um, broccoli sprouts, all those wonderful phytochemicals in. You've got protein, you've got fiber. It's fantastic, so that's really, really nice. Um, sometimes I have it with some scrambled egg if I have time, but obviously today I do not have time. If you did want to scramble some eggs, you just use that same pan. Just You don't need to wash it out, just add a little bit more oil in, crack one egg, move it around, and you can add it to this to make an even bigger sort of brunch meal. But that's all I'm gonna to need today to um, sort of yeah, keep you fueled. Hope you like watching it. Happy spinning, clapping, laughing, dancing in the blackness of magic. Get it, have it, bag it, throw yourself on the